Hi, my name is Ashley McKeechee and I am a yoga instructor here at Orange Coast College. It's so nice to meet you. Today, I would love for us to practice yoga and maybe explore some other tools of yoga. So it's not just movement, but also breath and meditation. And when we practice all those different tools of yoga, we actually decrease our stress. We increase our clarity and confidence, and we feel more connected to the world around us. So let's begin. Let's come all the way down onto the mat. And you might bend your knees and press your feet firmly into the ground. Take the hands behind your thighs. Take a slow breath in. And exhale, begin to lower yourself all the way down on your mat. Good, and find yourself a little bit more comfortable. Bend your knees and take the right hand to the belly and the left hand to the heart. And this is just a really good time for us to listen to our breath, to come into our yoga practice so that we can slow down the breath and let it be smooth and long. And that's what's gonna help us remain calm and collected throughout our day. With the lips closed, as you inhale, feel the chest and the belly rise towards the sky. And as you exhale, feel the belly and the chest lower towards the earth. Inhale through the nose, feel the chest and belly expand. And exhale, feel the belly and the chest merge with the mat. Good. Just do that a couple more times. Just feeling a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more present. And coming into our yoga practice uh, to receive all the wonderful benefits. Last one, inhale. And a long exhale. Good. And now one at a time, bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a little hug. But take the hands right on top of your kneecaps with your fingertips pointing down and relax the feet and relax the legs. Inhale, press the knees forward, elbows are straight. And exhale, bend your knees. Bring the knees closer in towards the chest and the elbows bend as well. Inhale, push the knees forward. And exhale, knees come closer in towards your chest. Good, keep going, a few more on your own. And try to link breath to movement like they were one. As you inhale, you're pressing the knees forward. And as you exhale, bending the elbows, bringing the knees closer in towards the belly. Good. Just do that maybe two more times, feeling a nice massage in the back, opening up the hips a tiny bit. Let's take one more, inhale forward. And exhale, knees to chest, good. And now take your feet down to the ground. Lift the right arm over your head, roll over to your right side and begin to press yourself up to all fours, tabletop, face the front of your mat, and stack the wrists underneath your shoulders. The knees are underneath your hips. And the feet and the knees are about hip width distance apart. Inhale, cow pose, arch the spine. Gaze up towards the sky, lift the chin. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine, tuck the chin, press the shoulder blades away from each other. Inhale, cow pose. Shoulders away from the ears, lift the heart. Exhale, cat, round the spine, pull the belly in. Good, do that a few more times on your own. Again, linking breath to movement and finding some more space in your spine. Good, let's do one more. Nice, and inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Take a slow breath in, gaze to the top of your mat, and exhale, ragdoll. Take a couple of steps behind your wrists and heel toe the feet out so maybe they're as wide as your mat. Bend your knees a lot, and interlace opposite arm to opposite elbow. Hang heavy here. We're shifting our weight more into the balls of the feet so we can feel a nice stretch in the low back as well as in the backs of our legs. 
and just begin to sway a little bit from side to side. Good, maybe shake out the head, yes. Shake it out, no, 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 no. But we always end up on a yes. Good, fingertips come to the mat. And now heel toe the feet a little bit closer together. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up, long spine. And then exhale, roll the shoulders back, hands come to heart center. Standing up really, really tall, reach the crown of the head up towards the sky. Take a slow breath in. And exhale, bring the arms down by your sides, palms face forward. Inhale, high mountain, reach the arms up towards the sky. Little back bend as you press the pelvis forward. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come through heart center. Hinge at the hips, fingertips to the mat and relax your head. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, long spine. Flat back, shift the weight more into the balls of your feet. You got it. And exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to all fours. Tabletop. Inhale, cow pose, arch the spine, open up the chest. Exhale for cat, round the spine, press out of the earth. Inhale, come to the neutral spine, gaze forward. And exhale, couple steps to the top of the mat to fold. Tuck your chin, maybe look towards the knees and bend your knees as much as you need to so that the fingertips touch the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, shoulders away from your ears. And exhale to fold. Good, inhale, high mountain, root to rise. Lift yourself all the way up, squeeze your glutes, go back. And exhale, forward fold. Hands come through heart center, coming all the way down with control. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, long spine. And exhale, hands to the mat, take the left leg back, low lunge. Good, gently back knee comes to the mat and flip over your toes. Inhale, rise up, crescent moon, arms reach up to the sky. As you exhale, bring your hands back to your hips. And let's stay here for a moment to find really nice alignment. As we encourage the right hip back and the left hip forward, we're pressing firmly down into the front foot, the back shin, back top of the foot. And it's almost like we're squeezing our thighs energetically together. Good, think about scooping the pelvis up slightly and that way you're gonna get, feel a really nice stretch in the top of the left hip. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky, crescent moon. And exhale, hands come to the mat. Inhale, tuck the back toes, lift the knee off the ground. And a big exhale as you step all the way up and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, high mountain, reach yourself all the way up. Find a little bit more of a back bend if that feels good. Exhale, forward fold, coming down slowly with control and fingertips down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, take the right leg back, low lunge. Good, back knee comes to the mat, flip over your toes. And inhale, rise up, crescent moon, open up your fingers. Good, exhale, take your hands to your hips. Good, and when we're here, we're trying to find our balance, right? It might be a little challenging, but there's, there's a couple tricks. So you wanna press firmly down into the tripod of the front foot. So that's the big toe, the pinky toe, and the center of your heel, like that triangle. That's really gonna help, and it's also gonna help stack the front knee over the front ankle. And we are just pressing firmly down into the back foot and back top of the foot. And again, a little scooping action with the pelvis slightly up. And when you do that, it's a really nice stretch on the top of the right hip flexor. You can even feel that in your quad, maybe. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Crescent moon, maybe look up. And exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, tuck the back toes, lift the knee. And exhale, big step all the way up and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. And exhale, fold and release. 
Good. Inhale, high mountain, reach all the way up. And exhale, stay lifted, take the hands to the heart and remain tall. Good, now take your arms down by your sides and shift your weight into your right foot. Take the sole of the left foot down towards the ankle, maybe the calf, or if you want to take tree pose up at the highest place, maybe help the foot come into the inner thigh. Good, take the palms to touch at the center of your chest. And then look at something in front of you that isn't moving. Let's work on our balance. Good, so we wanna think about really squeezing the foot and the leg together. Good, both are like equal amounts of energy, like a magnet squeezing together. Shoulders away from the ears. Ah, it feels so good to stand tall, just like your favorite tree. And if you want to inhale and reach the arms up to the sky, go right ahead. Take a slow breath in. Stay here, slow breath out of the nose. Good, and just take the hands back to the center, pressing the palms into each other. Bring the knee back forward, and then let it slide down the leg. Good, now shift your weight into the left foot and the sole of the right foot to just the ankle, right? If you're working on your balance, you can stay here, absolutely or maybe even the calf, lifting it up slightly, or maybe helping it up and pressing it to the inside of the thigh. Take your hands and press them together and really feeling strong with this grounded leg. Yeah, super straight so you can lift up tall, reaching the crown of your head up towards the sky, encouraging the right hip to open up. Yeah, look at something in front of you that's not moving that's gonna catch your gaze. And what's gonna help you too is your breath. So you have this little affirmation, breathing is my balance. Breathing is my balance. That's what you're thinking to yourself, right? Encouraging yourself. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to stay here. Yeah, keep breathing, doing so great. Take one more inhale. And exhale, bring the hands back to the heart. Good, turn the right knee forward and just let the foot slide down the leg. Excellent, good. And inhale, high mountain, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, have a seat. And it might help you to sit on a pillow or a block or a bolster, right? Something that we can elevate our hips on so that we can sit cross-legged. If you can't sit cross-legged, not a problem. You can find a chair, but just see if you can scoot forward enough on the pillow where the knees actually angle downwards. And now you feel a lot more space in order to find that cross-legged position. Go close your eyes. Another wonderful component of yoga is breathing, right? It's so important in a yoga practice. And what we just did is we actually merged breath and movement together. It's pretty powerful. But you can also practice the breathing technique without any movement. So as you close your eyes, begin to inhale and exhale out of your nose. Lips are closed. back to that first position when we were on our back and as you inhale feel the chest expand as well as the belly and as you exhale feel the belly contract and then the chest slow quiet breaths in long smoother breaths out Good, and keep going, but then start to recognize that there aren't just two parts to the breath. There's actually four parts. So you might begin to notice that there are pauses in between the breath. Inhale through the nose. 
a little pause. Exhale out of the nose. And a little pause. Try that again. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. That's it. Yeah, do that a few more times. When we pay attention to those pauses in between the breath, right, where we're minded to slow down. Our life is in a rush and we have a lot going on, but if we can just spend a few minutes every day being aware of our breath and especially the four parts of the breath, we feel more supported, more stable, more connected to what we need in our life. So try that a few more times. It should feel very easy. That you're not stressing or straining or feeling like you're holding the breath. It's just this beautiful natural transition. It should almost feel like you're floating in those pauses. Good. Let's do two more. Good, last one, inhale. Pause, exhale. Pause. Good. And just breathe in and out of your nose like you normally would. Eyes are closed if you feel comfortable. Just begin to notice how you feel. Notice how your body feels, maybe a little bit more spacious. How the breath is evenly flowing. And you feel maybe a little bit more clear, a little bit happier, a little bit more positive. Let's practice another tool of yoga called visualization. And with your eyes closed and your shoulders relaxed away from your ears, begin to visualize a beautiful white light at the center of your chest. And if it's difficult to imagine in your mind's eye a white light, then maybe, maybe think about a feeling at the center of your chest. It could be a warmth, it could be a vibration, it could be a tingling sensation. So just see if you can focus you know, right in the center of your chest. And allowing this white light to become bigger and brighter with every second that passes. And this white light actually finds itself in every part of your body, all the way from the toes to the crown of the head, an expanding white light. And this white light is not only healing, it protects you. And as, I, as you continue to focus on this light, it not just finds itself in every cell of your body, it actually starts to find itself outside of your body, making this perfect shape around the outside of your body, of your shape. And this light inside of you is the source of your confidence, your wisdom, and your joy.
being aware of any sensations of this white light, how it brightens your emotions, and it connects you to who you are and who you want to be. take two breaths into this white light, in through the nose, little pause, exhale out of the nose, little pause, last one, inhale. ready, very gently take your palms and press them into each other at the center of your heart. Thank you so much for practicing yoga today and exploring more of the tools of yoga, not just movement, but breath and meditation. My name is Ashley Mikichi. We have so many wonderful yoga classes at Orange Coast College, and we also have a yoga instructor training program. If you have any questions, you can find my email at the end of this video. I'd love to hear from you. Namaste.